In this video I want to do a brief review of R Drive Image. Now R Drive Image is a backup program that perhaps is a little bit different to backup programs that most people think of, but it's a program that has saved me on two or three occasions when I've had computer crashes. Now it doesn't just back up files from your um, your main computer to a, to an external drive, although it can do that. You can do it. You can do a complete copy of disk to a disk if you want to. But the real value of this software is it creates an image of your hard drive. So, for example, I've got my laptop here. Everything's installed and updated, and I can create an image of that laptop hard drive and save it to an external hard drive. Now, let's suppose my computer crashes tomorrow. I can go to um, our drive image. I won't be able to get log into Windows. So um, what I would have already done is create startup disks, which basically you can create a startup CD or you can save it to a flash drive or something like that. And then you boot your computer to that flash drive or to that CD. And then you um, have your external drive plugged in and you basically select the image that you had backed up. And what our drive image will recreate that entire image on your hard drive. So your computer can be completely trashed but with that image it can restore it back to the point or back to the exact same state as it was in when you took your backup. So um, let me just give you an example of where this is really really useful and especially time saving. I have a Windows 7 computer that um, was getting quite old and I actually took an image of that computer um, two or three years ago and I was keeping it just in case I had a problem. Now that computer I've just been using for watching online TV, video, uh, internet TV and that sort of thing. And over the years it's become really, really slow. Um, eventually it stopped working altogether and I couldn't even boot into Windows. And I don't, I don't have a Windows 7 disk. You know how laptops these days don't come with disks themselves. They come with recovery partitions or something. And unless you actually create your startup disks, you can be in a bit of a, a, bit of a fix. Well, I took that backup, that, um, that image of that hard drive two or three years ago. And I used it to restore my laptop to the exact state it was when I took that image two or three years ago. And that's exactly what it did. Um, unfortunately, in those two or three years, there was a large number of updates to Windows. And it took the best part of two days, possibly even three days, to get all of the updates installed on the computer so that it was completely up to date. So that was a real pain. But what I've done now that I've got it up to date is I've taken another image. And in the future, if my computer fails, I'll be able to update it with all the Windows updates and everything else that's been installed over the last two or three days. I can re reinstate it to that state uh, and it's a much better starting point than having to reinstall a basic Windows 7 and then having to upgrade all the way through. But let's have a look. I on my This laptop that I'm working on now, I took an image um, once I got it reinstalled. I had a problem with Windows 8 and I had to actually um, use this program again to, to save it. But since I've got it all back up to date, I have um, taken a, uh, created an image of the hard drive and what I can do at any time, I can click on the restore image and it will look for the various drives that are attached and I've got my passport attached here. And then it looks for the backups. And in fact, I just realized that my backup is on a different external hard drive. This hard drive that you can see here, this E is actually one that I use to back up um, my data files using a different program called GoodSync. But let me just plug in. I've just plugged in my other hard drive. And let's see if it can find it. Here we go, G. That's my passport, G. So I open that. And then there's my Toshiba C image drive. If I click on next, it'll ask me for a password because I've password protected it. And then if I click on next again and next again, I go through a series of screens where ultimately then it will restore that drive. And it will restore the drive exactly as it was when I took the backup image. However, it can, this R drive image can do more than that. I've just closed the program by mistake. Let me reopen it. Okay, here we are again. Now, Quite often I'll have these images stored from previous computers and I might want to just access some files from the image and I don't want to re re reinstall the image on a hard drive. I just want to get some files from there. And what you can do is you can actually connect the image as a logical drive. So let me go and find that image. Oops, it's in here. No, I've got the wrong thing again. Here we go, Toshiba. 
and I'm going to connect this Toshiba drive. I've got a password on there. And here is the drive. I need you to select it because quite often you can have a backup with more than one drive in there. I just got the C drive backed up. And I'm going to connect it as, let's say, the T drive. And click on Start. And what it's doing is it's going to the image and it's actually creating a, a virtual drive, which I'm labeled T, which contains all of the files that are held within that image. So I can actually access anything that is in that image. And this is useful, especially when you upgrade computers from one computer to another. You might not want to reinstall everything on the new computer, but you might want to keep backups of the, of the data. And, and I've got backups from four or five computers that I've upgraded through. And I can access files on any of those at any time. OK, so I've set that up. I've connected the drive. All I need to do now is open up Windows Explorer. And the screen is a little bit small, but let's see what we can do. Let's go down to the T drive. There's the T drive. And these are all of the files from my computer, the current computer that I'm using that are held within that image. And I can access any of those files. Okay, and I can copy and paste and install and do whatever else I need to do. So that's our drive image. You can create backup images that are fantastic for reinstating a computer. And if you have to reinstate a computer, I, I, the last time I did it was on the Windows 7 computer just a couple of days ago. It took about, I think it was about th three hours, two or three hours to reinstate the drive so that the computer was back up functioning and, and normal again. Um, so it takes a, a few hours to, to reinstate, but it's a lot better than having to spend days and days updating and then you know, not managing to get things done exactly as it was before. And, and the other thing you can do, as you've just seen, is you can connect an image as a drive. Um, when you've finished, you should disconnect it. And now it's going to go and disconnect that drive, which basically will allow me then to disconnect my external drive when I finish with it. OK, so that's our drive image. If you are working on your computer and you've got lots of stuff to back up, and you're really busy. Our drive image is a fantastic tool. It will save you if you have a disk, if you have a hard disk disk crash, as long as you use it and as long as you make backups. And uh, it works really well. I've had, as I said, I've had to re create images and restore them several times over the past few years, and it's never failed once. So um, I highly recommend it.